Well, we made it through most of the weekend without any sort of wet weather across the mountains, but that seems to be catching up to us now as we head into our Sunday night. That rain has already started across portions of the area, our western counties. It's been raining out towards the Metro Valley and the Tri-State area for several hours now. It's light to moderate and it's fairly quick moving. It's not going to be more than a 12 hour event, so flooding issues are not really expected. It's all part of a larger cold front that is sweeping through much, much of the east right now. Behind it, yeah, much colder air as we head into the beginning of the holiday week. Now, the temperatures out there right now don't seem like it's going to be all that cold. We are in uh, the 40s, some upper 30s through the Greenbrier Valley, low 50s across the western spots, so fairly seasonable. But behind this, we have bigger changes on the way. Now we have that rain as we head overnight. It's really going to be an all rain event for most of the area. We are not expecting any sort of winter precipitation, but those temperatures actually drop throughout the day as that cold front passes on. That's because of the timing of this front sweeps on through early Monday morning. And because of that, it's going to get cold pretty quickly as we head throughout the day on our Monday. If you're heading out, definitely dress accordingly because again, those temperatures are dropping throughout the day tomorrow. We won't really need an umbrella. You might need it maybe if you're heading out really early overnight, if uh, that rain's still around, which it should be before 6 a.m. But beyond that point, we should be ending with maybe some mist early uh, at the bus stop. But besides that, we're looking at mostly cloudy conditions, temperatures in the upper 30s. Later in the day, we'll actually see more sun, but those temperatures will have dropped. Uh, so don't think just because we're seeing the sun that we're going to be warmer because we are certainly not. Now we see that sh uh, that rain continue as we head over into the next several hours. So around 9 p.m., we're still dealing with that rain. As we head overnight, we do see that front sweep on through. So like I said, 7 to 8 a.m., uh, as you're out at the bus stop, most of us looking dry. We're seeing a couple sprinkles, you know, maybe a maybe some mist out there in, in, in the wake of this front, as well as some light snowflakes through the higher terrain, but accumulation is not expected. As we head throughout the day, that cold air continues to advect into the area. It's going to be a cold night, Monday night, and then Tuesday. Highs are not even going to really get out of the 30s across the area. So it looks like a cold start to the week. We will have some gusty winds as well, so that will add to make it feel even cooler. Gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour, especially along the higher terrain. So keep that in mind and get used to the cold because we are in the midst of below average temperatures across the east. Head out west if you want the warm weather. We'll be warm for Thanksgiving, but just as cold as we head into Black Friday. Jake.